fuck. What's up guys? Welcome back to Fierce Fathom. Today we're playing Iron Bark Lookout, the latest release of the series. I think in a five part series it's gonna be because there's one more coming out hopefully soon. But Iron Bark Lookout, I've been seeing this shit blowing up all over online. I'm pretty late to it honestly, but I'm fucking so hyped to play it, dude. It's meant to be a longer game, so you have to bear with me for this video because it's gonna be pretty huge, but like... <sighs> Let's just get into it, dude. Fears of Fathom, Episode 4, Ironbark Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTube playthrough of Fears of Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 20 or so at the time. 24 or so at the time. Feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But, I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. What happened to this guy, bro? I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. But I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northeast. Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. Oh, my boy, my boy, we're all struggling here, I feel ya. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That's actually so fucking cool, I would love to do that, bro. That RV was the only centre for home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I had lived out of my RV like travelling and I like travelling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. I was a bit it was about a two hour drive. Okay, okay. Oh We're cruising. Vibes are on, vibes are on. Bit of a golden hour time uh, afternoon. Okay. Oh. They say not to do this, but fuck it, I don't care. Did you pass through Roseburg yet? No why? Relax, Kayla. I just started driving, you fool. I hope I don't see a demon again like I did in number two. I lived a very, very solitary life. Feel you, bro. Survive. Damn. Big Mack truck coming my way. Let me tell you. God, is this truck going to go any slower? I remember there was this diner while passing through Roseburg that had the best hamburgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use some meals. All right, squirt. Let's get some tucker down our guts. Oh, here's a diner. We're coming in hot. My bad. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Sorry, man. My bad. My bad. Hey, Jay. What's up, bro? My bad. You don't mind if I park here on your car, dude? Ew. The fuck are you making that noise for, huh? Pipe down. How's that burger? Where are you headed? I'm from Roseburg. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. What about yourself? Just passing through. Have a safe journey. Alright, squirt. You fucking enjoy that burger, why don't you? Diner. Alright. Let's cruise on in. Oh. Fucking moonwalking. Ah! Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat. I asked you a question, bitch. Cool. Fucking Santa Claus is enjoying his food. Look at his hands! Yo! Please leave me alone. <laughs> Looking a bit too happy to say that, squirt. You look a little lost. Just passing through. So where are you headed? Starting a new job at a nearby state park. Oh, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What about you? I work in finance. I'm a finance analyst for a big firm downtown. Do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy. It's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. It can be a bit of a roller coaster, blah, 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 blah. All right, enough yapping out of you, mate. Didn't need your whole life story. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm headed up north. Oh, to make a delivery. I'm a staff at Ironbark State Park. So it's true. What did they say happened to those kids the other day? We can't say. Can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's every parent's worst nightmare. What the fuck does that mean? Oh. Bitch, quit staring at him. He's just trying to eat his food. God, posture, mate. Fuck. How's the food? He definitely did just stare at me. Alright. 
enjoy. I can get a seat anyway, yeah? Nick, yeah. Oh, now I gotta look at this fucking punk. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. I don't care what I want. Cheeseburger, coffee, whatever. That'll be all, thanks. Great, I'll bring the food. Will do. Oh, we got a piss. Where's the pisser? Can I put tunes on? Oh. <laughs> Fuck the vibe. Oh, new song. We're allowed to be. Alright, 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 alright. All right. Fucking hell. Oh, here we are. I'm disabled. This this toilet works for me. At least he's not pissing all over the floor this time like last time, huh? Oh, Carson had to fucking mop up some piss when he got back home and pick up a pizza box. Okay. I'm hungry. Bring me my food, bitch. Hurry it up. Don't make me wait. Come on. Why are you walking like a snail? Consuming my burger. Figured it'd be a while before I had a meal again. Yeah, probably. You're in the fucking forest. Give me hunting rabbits, champ. What's Mitch, Mitch Scott got to say? Mitch, congratulations on the transfer. Blah, blah, blah. Welcome aboard. He's my boss, I guess. You should start on the 12th. Oh. Don't interrupt me. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Go to park by gate D. Got it. Oh. Here's your check. I'll tip the bitch. You get a 15. You didn't bother me. There you go. Score it. Enjoy that. But what was the last text? Well, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit, question mark. Yeah, sure, Kayla. Relax, mate. All right. We are gone. Now, we may have crashed our van, but she still seems like she's in good condition. That's a fat ass this thing's got. Holy. Did I leave that open? I can't remember if I left it open. Have we even toured the van yet? Oh. I got my stuff there. I guess I'll have to take that with me. Okay. The bathroom door is strangely jammed. What do you fucking mean the bathroom door is strangely fucking jammed? Not in a game like this, bro. The bathroom door doesn't just get strangely jammed in a game like this. Fuck, dude. That's not good. Already not good. Alright. Let's back this bitch up. Driving abilities next level. Hey, forward, please. <laughs> ah. right, we're off. Well, I just hit that. 8:02 p.m. It's getting pretty late. The vibes are on. Want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in these woods. Damn. Can't see shit. I guess this is where I'm parking. Okay. Can't really tell. You said the gravel uh, great gate D. I'll take this with me. I guarantee you gotta take this. <sighs> oh, fuck me, man. They said gate D, yeah? Yeah, gate D, cool. Ah oh, fuck. I fucking I actually hate these games, bro. They don't even get views, I don't know why I play them, dude. This is fucked. The fuck is that? <laughs> oh! oh, fuck. Fucking already. Why am I on the ground? Holy moly, you scared the shit out of me. I thought you were one of the them. Fuck, dude, you scared me. <laughs> fuck. Hey, Lord, have mercy. What the fuck are you talking about? Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Bro, why are there already jump scares in this fucking game, dude? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm only transferred to an iron buck. Look at that. Is that correct? I didn't I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. I fucking crouched, dude. Holy fucking shit, man! Hurry up, squirt. Don't have all day. Night. How'd you go? Okay, power. Good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left uns unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Thanks, mate. Let me open the trail gate for you. Cheers, bud! Look at that! Doesn't that look fun? <laughs> Do we get a torch at least? I've got my bag! Oh. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. 
Be careful, take this, take flashlight. Thanks, Bill! I don't know why you didn't yell out to me. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now, for your purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If you need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. There'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Oh. Let me do that. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. See you around. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Fuck this, man. 11.32 out of three and a half hour walk at this time. It was a long hike and I was starting to get, it was starting to get cold. Tower 11. That'd be me. Fuck, this is already as scary as Carson House is not scarier, bro. This outside vibe is fucking... Tower 11. Lacey Trail, 3.2 miles. Golden Creek Trail, 0.4. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. It's cool though. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Yeah, definitely not. Fuck, dude. Can I turn this on? Power. Cool. Where are we? Let's send the stairs to the top of the tower. Yeah, it makes sense to put a generator on. I'm from the country, I know how all that works. Lights. Camera action. Oh, oh, it's finally at my new home for the next few months. Fuck, dude. Oh, yeah, I gotta say for a whole season, huh? I was one five finder. It's like a giant compass size of a pizza. That's fucking cool, lads. What do I gotta do? We use it to spot fire on the maps. I gotta do a weather report, yeah? Hey, what is happening? Starting Rainbow 68. Password! Oh. Um, radio equipment was sitting on the table. Cool. I can access radio. Uh, that's cool, I guess. Winds, I guess. 45 degrees, temperature. System password is Ironbark, then your tower numbers, Ironbark 11. Lights out after 12 pm. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. Password. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games. What? Remember to call your, your sister station before you sleep. Cool. Okay. I R O N B A R K 11. Cool. Oh shit. Hello there. Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. I'm back, map, service reporting, that's what I have to do it. Plague. What's this? Didn't they say no games? What? What? What is this? I'm training! There's no way, bro. I'm gonna beat this fucking game. Oh shit. I got an achievement, I think. Yeah, right, cool. That's actually sick, dude. Fucking awesome, dude. I got an achievement for that. <laughs> sick. Now, what do I need to do the weather? Alright, let's have a look, actually. I need to check what I need for the weather reporting. Temp, wind speed, weather condition. Oh. New guy. Haven't gotten your name yet. Oh, sick. What is it again? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who is this? Probably should ask that first. Ah, oh, yeah, Fire Tower 12. Connor, cool. We've had to cover your area until you arrived. Sweet. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? An experienced comrade. You can see why Mitch picked you. You got a fire going? <laughs> I'm that boy, for real. I'm that boy. You got a fire going? Get her lit. The temperature's about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Oh, there's a storm coming. Fuck, dude. Wind. 
Lucky I'm a country boy. 20 knots. 45. And what was the last thing? Weather. Relatively clear. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Chill out, bro. Should be around the end. Fucking relax. I'm putting my report in. 45. 20. Clear. Zero hikers assisted. Order by Jack. Submit. Cool. 2022. Cool. Alright. I need wood, don't I? You shut the fuck up! Ah, fuck. I need wood. Oh, there's already wood up here. What, dude? What, what, what? There's no firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley. was in the lookout before you. She was... Well, anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Cool. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the store. Cool. Alright. <clears throat> I just seen wood downstairs. Probably should have bought a torch. Would have made more sense. Fuck, dude. I'm charging in, man. God. I'm gonna burn this fucking place down. Damn. Ah, I see it. I see All right. It. Calm down. Why are we using fucking gasoline to start fires in a cabin, in a wood cabin? I don't know if that's. I see Tower Eleven alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Yep. All right. What? What? Report for the night yet? Yes, well. done. Anyways, I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Cool. Tower Twelve, signing off. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night. Over and out. Let's hey talk the real lingo. Shut the fuck up. All right, Betty buys. We out here. Let's take this off. It's hot. It's hot here. Eligible. Ah! What the fuck? Connor? Ah! I have to piss. Piss in the cabin. Piss on the fire. That's fine. My first night, being out of the cave and gave me a strange feeling. Fuck yes, give me a strange feeling too, pal. Oh, I just piss off the edge? Cool. <laughs> Dope. That's what I do too. Fuck walking down. <clears throat> Dude! There's definitely a homie down there. Ah, fucking already, dude! Just there. What in the fucking world? What in the fucking world, bro? Already! We've already started! Alright. Back to bed. Just sleep paralysis, that's all it was, or it was a... It was a... It was... It's in my head. Night two. Oh, it's a fucking vibe. It is a fucking vibe. Sip that lean, homie. Sip that lean. Look at this shit, man. Nothing better than a nice brew. Looking at the lake. Looking at nature. Take it all in, you know? Look at the birds flying in the sky. The demons walking along the ground. It's all great here. It's all great here. Take photo. Fuck yeah. Beautiful. Oh, there's fire. There's fire. Look at 12. That must be where the homie's talking to me from. He doesn't look too far away, probably only about 2k away. Cool. New guy. You copy? Yep. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Coming, Connor. <coughs> I Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Bitch. Excuse Nobody me? bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. 
It's north is that way. Oh yeah, I see a smoke. Cool. Probably could have just looked, honestly. Yeah, there's a fucking campfire out there. I need you to confirm. Do you see that smoke? I see it, cotton dog! You spot that white smoke up north? It appears to be in the lacy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up. I saw that trail earlier. Fire risks are high this season. Mind checking it out? Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Do you have any further detail? Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire, or stay safe out there. Cool. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods. Oh, sure, sure I got bear spray? Out. Fuck yeah, dude. Where's that bear spray at, dude? Ah, here. Yep. And where do I put my um torch? I'm definitely gonna need a torch. Mm, there. Go. Cool. Just about to get dark. It did say night too. I'm Bark. Lacy Trail. Okay. Why are my oh, items floating shit, in the that? air? Bears. Oh shit. 8.37 PM. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Check that later. Oh. Bro, I got full fucking chills. Step out here. Show yourself. Full chills. What the fuck was that, bro? They told me I had to put the fire out. We're gonna get dragged into this water, bro. Not a fan of this at all, eh? What's that? <sighs> 9 7 pm. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think that something may have happened. Yeah. Fuck, man. Fuck, dude. Tell 12, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. Ain't no fox, bro. Sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Ain't no fox. That was a screaming man. It was a manly scream. I about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. 
lot of months ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Does that well, the people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Yeah, bro. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes I only wish they were true. Yeah. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. About to be service. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Mm. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Agreed. Keep me safe, new guy. Over and out. You too, over and out. Fucking hell, dude. So there's kids and shit going missing in the forest too? I'm definitely gonna have to go get some wood. Ain't nothing but a thing. This shack sketches me. I definitely just heard whistling then behind that shack. I fucking told you there's something wrong with that shack, bro. That shack ain't it. Man, this game is so unsettling, dude. Fuck me. What did Kayla want earlier? Pass the bake. Did a reach you, send pics. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything's okay. Bad reception. All the messages go through. Matter of fact, let me try that recipe. Okay. My bro wants to make a fucking dish. We're not playing Cooking 101. We're playing Lookout, bro. Like, but. Figure it out, man. Fuck it. Fuck it, wee ball. I'm doing it my way. I want to make sludge for dinner. Hey guy, you there? Yes. Connor? Mm. Just reported their ass to the authorities. Hmm. Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's really. They can track them down and give them a piece of their mind. Dot dot. Tell you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. All right. He's saying he's gonna have a wank. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Good night, Connor. Damn, with his bare hands! I didn't do that with his bare hands! Damn. I like the eating in bed. Bro's a grub. Damn. God, do you speak to your mother that way? Fucking hell. Who polished off a whole lasagna by themselves? I was already full. Ah. Uh, coward. Alright. Bedtime. Ah, uh, gotta close these fucking things. Are they outside? Is it these? Oh, yeah. I feel like any time it gives me permission to go outside, there's someone lingering around. It scares me. God, Connor's made a fucking mess of this place. This is a fire. That was a torch. 2.27am. Fuck, dude. Thank you. 
you can hear him walking away. It. She. What is that? I didn't know what to make it, bro. It's got his fucking pentagram on it, and it's got candles, and it's a it's a goat. The only logical thing I could do was contact. I can't even get my words out, bro. We got to contact Connor though. Bro, what? Connor, do you copy? Connor, wake up! Fuck's sakes! Connor, there. Don't care. Mention skull. Kids! That's what Marley got tired of! I don't think those kids are missing. Uh-uh. 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 Uh-uh.
What, bro? What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked, you've been knocking for hours. Camp, you just started knocking. I was asked to check in on you. What are you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker, hiker at this hour. May the Lord have be merciful. What, can't? Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. Feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for a second. Thanks, man. What were you doing there last time? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw it around up there, pal. I was required to investigate a campsite. Oh lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. Bobcats and bears can't whistle. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, be quite a distraction from helping if anything happened. Got enough to keep me occupied here, absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on edge. Everything alright? Mention Skull. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No, I didn't think about it. Fuck, dude! You know what's best? We don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Oh my god. Now to get firewood. Gotta keep up with the progress of this uh, fine establishment. I was too hungry for fuck sakes, dude. Always need something, don't ya? I can already I can already tell what this game is gonna ask me to do, bro. Like I've done this three times now, you can just get a sense of what the games want. I know he wants some microwave's food because he's a needy fuck and he needs some microwave's food. Polished. Like that. Five seconds flat, he should be a fucking speed eating champion. Oh, look at this mess I've made. My god. Down we go. Over this shit, man. I'm confronting whatever the fuck is around here, bro. I ain't dealing with no shit. Oh, oh fuck, dude. Oh, he's sit. Ain't that the guy from the cafe with the ugly head, the big lumpy fucking ugly head? <laughs> fuck, dude. I got full fucking chills right now. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi. The new guy everyone's been talking about. Names can be deceiving. Salus. Yellow. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right measures reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? He's been hacking into the radio comms, that's why they could hear the... That's why those guys knew where the, the guy, the hiker was. Definitely. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. I'll see you around, Salas. Have a good night, Jack. When the fuck did I tell this guy my name, bro? Hope you can sleep well, but remember. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. 
Devil Jack. Go me the creepy spots. Where are you going? Where are you going? Off into the woods he goes. Gone. What in the fucking world is this game? It's making me feel sick, dude. You guy, you there? I'm there, Squirt. Why wouldn't I be there? Clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Brandon Salas Brandon says. says the guy maintaining the nearby radio tower. Dot dot. Dot dot. Is this about yesterday? What? You trying to yank my chain now? Nah, dude. What do you mean? The radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Of course it has. It was down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Of course it has. Sure. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Look, oh, what to. you're saying is true. It could be another one of those goons playing pranks on. Fuck you, you talking about you? My name, bro. You think he's been listening? I'm not Either sure. Way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Mm. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Good night, over oh. and out. Oh, fuck this, dude. This is fucking crazy, bro. This is this is a definitely the scariest one so far. This has just got the worst vibe. Bedtime. Bedtime. My knees were starting to grow each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that I was just a, that it was just a change of environment that I needed to be getting used to. The strangest I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. What are you talking about? However, that would soon change. Two nights later, 9:18 p.m. It's gonna be dark, and it's right. Okay. You got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Okay. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Cool. No more snoopers, I guess. Head off to the computer. To be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really my thing. Okay. Sure. I say it. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Mm. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Okay. Ready to wield some digital magic with console type help. Check system updates. CHKUPD. Updates found. Ah. 4346084. Cool. Sweet! <laughs> what in the world? Power's gone out because I've updated the system, bro. Fuck sakes, man! This is actually so scary! Man, this is absolutely next level, man. Thanks, dude.
Fuck me. One week later. Time is flying by. Connor's generator is under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check on in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 AM. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. What? Jack? Jack? What? Jack, do you copy? Sorry, Connor. Hey, tell you what, I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Uh huh. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. Do you see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. West. Oh, fuck sakes, man. Binoculars. Sorry I'm not reading the text guys. Read it for yourselves. This is absolutely... Are they burning bodies, bro? Is that what that is? Are we in Bohemian Grove right now? What is this, dude? Take a photo. They said take evidence, yeah? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. right there right there on the other side you can't get past Fuck, I think I need to make it in the toilet. The bear spray didn't work! What the fuck, dude? I'll skip forward to where we were.
gone. Gone. Later, champ. Later. Later, champ. Have a good one. See ya. Bye bye now. What the fuck, man? Oh. I can't believe that. Oh, fuck, dude. Move. Quick. As the journaling kicked down, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest cat ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. <sighs> Look, Jack, we all get a little sir crazy out here. Mitch answered. What? Are you serious? Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However... That was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels but vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which I which is really out of my character. But I know but what I saw. Real or not, after darkness after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. That's it, man. That was the worst one by far. That was fucking terrifying. Fears of Fathom. I'm Bark Lookout. I'll be waiting for your last game, whoever's making this. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you guys once again for watching. Um, I'm not getting many views in these scary games, but I definitely have the most fun filming them, even though it scares the shit out of me. So I really appreciate you guys for watching the videos and commenting. I'm seeing every one of you comments. So I'm really, really, really appreciating it. You guys are giving me the motivation to keep going. Love it, man. So thank you guys so much. Um... I'll definitely be seeing you guys in the next video, and uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and uh, leave a like if you guys want to see more. Peace out.